a high frequency channel where source and spirit meet in tandem, where forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship, while building a unity of energy and creation, fluidity in consciousness, where we let our spirits speak. Welcome to another episode of The Raven's Den. I am your host, Reverend Raven Nyquat HP. HP stands for High Priest. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening uh, to some of you. <laughs> what a month so far. Now this morning I'm not going to be doing the ear theoric forecast. Okay, I've chosen not to do that this morning. However, there's been some really crazy occurrences over the course of the beginning of this month. Now, first and foremost, for those that don't know, we have three things going on this month. One of them has already happened, and yesterday, another. So, we had the very first full moon on the first of the month. Second, yesterday was the new moon. The third occurrence for this month is going to be at Halloween, the very day of Hallowmass and Samhain, which is not only just a secondary full moon, which we haven't seen in about 20 years, but also a blue moon that we have not seen since about the 1940s. Okay. Take a look at that. As I said, I know that this is going to be early. Whoever's going to watch, make sure you comment. Those on YouTube, make sure you you know the pound that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, tap on that notification icon there on the on the video to make sure that you see new uploads and new content first. Again, if you wish to uh, attain any of the apparel that you see myself wearing during the show or any of my other videos. You can go to Spreadshirt.com and look up Raven's Den Apparel. Uh, we also do custom designs. If you would like, you just need to message me directly and let me know what it is you would like to do, or like to receive, like to be created, and we will go through the motions in doing just that. Okay, so what else have I noticed? First and foremost, I want to show you, I, I want to have you guys check this out, right? So... I'm not going to mention names for, you know, privacy purposes. But yesterday, I did a spiritual communication. And at the very moment, that we got on video, I was hearing certain things. Now what I'm going to do is I want I want I want to play for you the sound that was heard. Now, this isn't normal, okay, for a session, okay, for myself working with other people. Again, this was a spiritual communication, so I use an EVP recorder, and this is what happened, okay? You want to talk about high frequency during this time, okay, during this time of year, during this time of the month. Check it out. I also got, no, again, I... I Going by wire and NAT, uh, uh, messages. Just make sure that it's for the good of all, and for that all you know, and for, and for all love and light, insane. eternal. That? All right. So the first thing that That's I actually got before energy. I started moving around and making it seem actual like I was energy. doing something that I wasn't. Okay. Being um, I actually got the, the name between Nanny. And sorry, Nana or Noni, and, uh, either 
N O N N Y or N O N O N I. I also got. You see? Again, now, now that stuff is crazy. You cannot just make that stuff up. And that wasn't even a cell phone either. Okay, she was on her cell phone. So there's no way that the cell phone itself could have made that made that sound. There was no additional sound uh, in her background. Okay, in any way, shape, or form, it was quiet. Besides the dog, you know, every once in a while, which which was fine. But ultimately, there's see, there's a lot of things that are going on right now. Huge amounts of uh, bursts of energy, and we have to be very careful and very aware as to certain things. Okay, full moons obviously ampli you know amplifies energy, um, as well as it's good for you know manifestation and conjuring and you know invoking, evoking, you know evocations, provocations, and you know, all these different kinds of things. But truthfully. This month, we uh, we still have to be exceptionally careful as to what we're thinking, what we're projecting out there, you know, even with our mouth, you know, what we say, and how we express ourselves. But what kind of energies are involved with our own reality? Very, very important stuff, guys. Now, I know more times than most that a lot of you are either not being affected by it or you are being extremely affected by it. Me, I'm kind of on the fence. <laughs> but, um... It's a situation where when we take into consideration everything that's going on in the cycle of this reality, we have to be in awe of what we can create. I'm going to share this a little bit. I don't want to come and join in. Sure. Okay. Now, more times than most, I mean, a lot of people are just running on autopilot. I'm not going to lie about it. What I mean by autopilot is that it's there is a natural uh, pre-programmed essence A existence of living automatically based on like muscle memory and repetition see I've never shared this with you guys but I truthfully at this moment think it's very important for me to share. You see, people have called me many things. And I'm not talking about the bad stuff. I'm talking about, they've actually called me many things as to what I am. What kind of energy they feel from me. And the truth is, that a lot of you are correct but some of you think you know but don't really know I mean some of you rational and real you know realist people will just say okay well he's a human being you know he's you know, he's a man true but there's one thing that I've learned throughout the history of my journey that makes things, makes life, I should say, all the more exciting. 
You see, I've grown to know that I have connections with other things, just like everyone else can have, you know, connections with certain spirits, spirit guides, animals, uh, celestials, guardians, warriors, all kinds of different stuff. But the biggest epiphany that I received in my life was when I found out that I was connected to so what I call I guess which we can say is cosmic royalty so that's the best way to put it um, I have been told throughout the decades that I have I'm connected to one of the angelic armies uh, specifically Rolem of Ashtar Command uh, one of the lead generals or at least I was at one point the essence is still within me and the more times that I go on this journey I see and a lot of you will as you, you know, as you move through life, that your life's purpose and soul mission will be shown to you when you least expect it. You see, my life was never Uh, my life was never perfect. I had trauma, tragedy, just like a lot of other people. I was bullied for not being popular or the norm up until, you know, a certain grade, of course. And I started pacifying and attempting to mimic, you know, other people and then things changed slightly see the time has come to where we open ourselves up to being our true authentic and illuminated selves now I know that a lot of you will believe me and a lot of you won't. A lot of you may call me certain things and some of you may absolutely agree with me in many ways, more ways than one. Either way, that's still okay. The first thing that I'm gonna tell you is that no matter who you are, no matter where you came from, no matter how you were born, and especially no matter how you look which is one of the biggest things in this world I know it sounds horrible but it's the the scary truth is that a lot of times individuals have to be either energetically or visually attracted to an individual in order for them to either listen to them or uh, pay attention to them I'm not saying I am or I am not. However, see, by being a general, there is a lot of responsibilities and obligations that I have to other people. And I'm gonna tell you that it's not easy. It's, it's definitely not. And people who just go on the by and by and keep living life in a natural occurrence it's, it's totally fine, but the thing is, is that I'm not saying I'm superior or inferior, but I do think that it's a bit more difficult or even challenging uh, to live life when you have uh, so much of a higher purpose that it affects everything around you. Most highly gifted people, they, ex they experience this, so I'm not just the only one. There's hundreds thousands tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of people that you know that experience this but some accept it 
and then some don't. It made sense to me where the general of an angel army came into play because even when I was in grade school, junior high, high school, job corps, even the military, in some way, shape, or form, I took a leadership role. Made sense. That just totally made sense. Uh, being a you know being a general or used to being a general, and and having that essence, that spirit, that energy, still emulate. Okay, and live within me, you know, as it can live within you. The biggest thing for me was the admittal or admittance to being part of something so much more. Now, we can say all day long that there's always going to be good and evil, dark and light, polarity, polarization, duality, right? But yet, Yes, does the fight still go on? We all know this. Okay, there's there's going to be evil, there's going to be light. Sometimes it's light prevails, sometimes, you know, darkness prevails, unfortunately. But it's always temporary. And it's always, um, I, I'll say this, Matthew McConaughey uh, said it the best, where, you know, we're always in process. And... When, when I say always in process, it really resonates and truly activates my heart space. I mean, being, uh, think about it though, would you rather be a leader and be a catalyst for change or Would you be, or would you rather be, a one who follows the crowd, who, you know, doesn't really know where your place is, and someone who a majority of the time is confused about what you're supposed to be doing? If you're going to be a leader, my suggestion is to figure out in what area of life are you going to lead in, okay? As the familiar calls out for adjourning me into this wonderful session, move your bum, will you? No, you're always crying. You got you got food. You go go. I put water out there. I know you. You look good. Right, sweetie. Where'd you go? There you go. Now, as as we continue on this journey, on your journey, okay, because everybody has their own. You're not walking my journey. I'm not walking yours. But as you're walking your journey. There begins to be a, a, a feeling and a sense of clarity. Beta test everything. Literally. Anything that you could possibly think of that may resonate, you know, that may resonate with you, you know, to try out as maybe like a practice or you know, a, a sacred ritual or a sacred routine of some kind, do it. Because more times than most, you re you're really not going to know what you're supposed to be doing as a life's purpose and soul mission unless you test everything out. Now, 
I mean, dreams can have messages within them. You may be able to hear certain messages in passing. You might be able to touch someone and be able to feel their, you know, their pain, their emotions, their energy. But true bliss in life is solely based on you knowing what makes you happy, doing what makes you happy, and sticking to it. Because if you if you veer from your happiness, you create hindrance, resistance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, some people call them barriers, walls, blockages. Okay. And ultimately, what you have to know now, if you don't already know, is that A connection that is an integration between you and your higher self is massively important to living a more positive and spiritual lifestyle. Not only that, but also knowing and doing the things that make you feel good and make you feel happy as a human being and as a integral piece of the growth of the human race okay see there are times that you're going to, uh, there's going to be times along your journey where you're going to feel lost and you're going to feel not necessarily yourself. That could be a lot of different things, but... The most important thing to think of is that it could very well be let's just say it could be your your soul changing, evolving, shifting into a higher existence. And I'm not gonna lie about this. It's in some of it's some of the, you know, the walk is not gonna be easy. It's a, you know, there's gonna be challenges. There's gonna be, uh, you know, mental mental strain, physical pain, uh, discomfort, uh, an overload of challenges to where you think that you might be going nuts, and you're not. But the fact is that a majority of the world, humanity, needs to know that the basis for the human race is to be able to assist the rest of the, the rest of the people, the rest of humanity, that are still attempting to reach that enlightenment. Now there are going to be people out there that are not going to want to reach enlightenment or that think that they are already there. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. But again, all truths are but half truths. So if they believe that they are, then they are. Now, whether or not that resonates with you, whether or not you wanna be around those people, that's entirely up to you. It's your choice. You know, don't allow for a disappointment or the fact that certain people don't want your help to make you feel like you're worthless or 
that, that you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Because if it feels right, it is right. I'm going to repeat that. If it feels right, it is right. If it feels off, it probably is. You have to start admitting, accepting your gut instinct and your intuition, your intuitive nature for what it truly is. It is your freaking radar. It is. It is your radar. It is your tuning fork. It is the very thing that sh that tells you whether or not to be somewhere, to do something, whether or not something is, is going to end up feeling good or being good. Think about that. I mean, there's been, there's been many, many times that people think that they're enlightened, but they're not. I won't lie about that. Nobody's perfect, but yet, mm -hmm. because perfection is, is based on, you know, perfection is based on perception. Yet a lot of the things in life are created by us, created by you. Everything around us All we have to do is know what makes us happy. The question is, what, what does make you happy? And what is it that you're going to do from now on in order to be a, a, an important part in this collective change? Learn everything you can. I mean, I've learned the, not everything in the occult, but I've learned a lot that has to do with the occult, witchcraft, Wicca, Reiki healing, quantum interdimensional healing, you know, shamanic work, angel healing, soul surgery. You know, learning about sound and frequencies and different kinds of breathing and meditation. There's a lot of things that you can learn. But you have to resonate with it. Like you have to you have to believe or you have to know that it feels good to you in order for you to do whatever it is that you're going to do. Because if it does not feel good to you, now honestly I know that other people are gonna say, Well, you know, life is you know you know, life is tough, play hard. But Maybe, you know, that's only a part of your life. You know, I mean, you know, Nike itself, which, you know, I'm not in, I'm not sponsoring them or endorsing them or anything, but, you know, Nike says just do it. But but the simple fact is, is yes, you have to make a choice. You have to you have to start by, by making a choice to do something, something that, uh, uh, that you want to do. But is it just because you want to do it, or is it something that you're supposed to be doing, or even is it something that is going to create joy or happiness in your life, or even someone else's? The truth is, you'll never know until you actually think about it, or you choose to do it. You know, be the catalyst for change. Don't follow the sheep, man. You know, I, I like I like the quote, and I put it on a shirt too. It's part of our uh, clothing, you know, clothing apparel line. It says, "Be heard, not herded." Okay, like sheep or cattle. I love it, love it, love it, love it. This is the time for us, for our race, to wake up. 
not color race. We're talking about human race. Okay, to wake up. It doesn't matter what your nationality is, where you grew up, how you grew up, who you grew up, or who you who you are born from. What matters is is that you finally open yourself up to, to the fact that something has to seriously change with our worldly society. And let's become a catalyst for that change. Are you going to be that change? You decide. Until next time, I am your host, Reverend Raven Nyclay HP, High Priest, Reiki Master, Spiritual Development Coach and Mentor. Be humble, be blessed, live in the vibration of love, and take care of each other. Namaste, love and light. A high frequency channel where source and spirit meet in tandem, where forces between the mind, body, and spirit meet in friendship, while building a unity of energy and creation fluidity in consciousness where we let our spirits speak.